Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So Sagittarius, I didn't think I was going to do your reading today. It's been so nice here today. It's been so warm and sunny. It's been really windy. It's still crazy windy. And so I decided I was going to take Lily for a walk this afternoon after the Scorpio. I normally take her for two walks a day anyways. Um, one after breakfast and one after dinner. But it's so nice today, so I think I'm going to take her for another walk. Do you know who got out there? And it started getting really cold. <laughs> really cold. The weather, the temperature is dropping quick. The sun is gone. And it's still windy. So we didn't go as far as we did. Okay, and I felt, I felt really refreshed. I think my hair is probably a tangle. I didn't even brush it because it was just like... <laughs> like that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm... um. I'm going to do a reading for you, Sag. It's going to be um, your energy and energy outside of you. And this deck is giving me like a hardship here. Stop it, would you? <laughs> I feel so sassy after being blown around in the wind. All right, Sagittarius. It's a general reading because it's general it may or may not resonate. If it does resonate and you're drawn to it, there will be an extended, and the link to that is at the top of the description within this video. Okay, Sagittarius, your energy, energy outside of you. What oh, lady's getting a drink? I wonder if she wants to lay on the couch. It's kind of dirty. Although the covers on this couch come off to wash. Thank you. Okay. Your energy, Sagittarius, rest and rejuvenation. Perhaps you're spending a relaxing time. Perhaps you're meditating. Um, I feel like you're contemplating something, to be honest. This feels like kind of a contemplative energy. But definitely resting and relaxing, perhaps meditating, maybe getting your sleep, maybe laying in a little sunbeam. Do you want to come up, Lily? Really? Yes, you can come up. Come on. I'm telling you, you can. You don't need to stare. I'm, come on up. What is the problem? Okay, come on. The Sagittarius is waiting. Okay, there we go. Good girl. This is a pretty girl. This is a pretty girl. Yeah, we had a nice walk. I told them about our walk. I did tell them, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I think she's pissed that I'm not spending time just, you know, with her. Teach a good girl. Teach P. Okay. Energy outside of you, Sagittarius. Oh, hello. Oh, you know what? It's kind of funny. I feel like there's people getting, like, romance on and you're not. That's kind of a funny feeling. Fifth chakra, yin yang. Oh, but I think you want to get your romance on, but you're a little anxious about how to do it. You have the fifth chakra at the bottom. Then you have yin and yang, followed by angel of love, the thinking woman, and anxiety. Anxiety. So this is almost, it feels a little bit like uh, you wanting to avoid. Maybe there, well, maybe there's someone outside of you that feels like the potential for a caring connection that you would like to experience more love, more communication with, but you've got a bit of, oh, you're trying to calm your anxiety. I feel like you're trying to calm your anxiety about this. Perhaps it is a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. Um, it could be platonic. It could just be maybe you become distant with someone and you would like to, um, to bring those energies together a little bit stronger or you would like to strengthen a relationship with someone. But it feels like you're kind of anxious about it and that's why you're resting and rejuvenating. Maybe kind of tapping into your guides, seeing what your intuition is telling you. So I'm using my energy oracle deck and the lights here, Sarah. So we're going to keep building on this. Right, Lily? We're going to keep building on baby? Yeah, baby. I'm just going to stare at me. You know what? No, it's just... At 5 o'clock we eat. I'm recording this at 5 after 4. So that's about right. She usually stares at me consistently for an hour leading up to supper. <laughs> it's not ready, but you have eight of eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles, page of wands. Not ready. Let's make it ready. Let's make it ready for Sagittarius. Queen of 
Wands, the World, the Four of Wands, I think you want to bring something together here, almost like, oh, it's almost like something that you feel like you kind of hold in your mind or you're holding your hand, but you want it to be more than that. You want to, you want, yeah, you want to create something more. You're kind of trying to get your mojo going, trying to get your confidence with the Queen of Wands, trying to get your confidence. I feel like you want to close off some sort of a cycle though. And with the Four of Wands, like you just want to bring perhaps whatever this is together. Well, let's see what that is. Let's see what this energy is outside of Sagittarius. Because the first thing I said with that card was it felt like, you know, there's other people around you that you're witnessing that are engaged in caring connections, but you're feeling more like kind of solitary. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, we have two queens here. Oh, and we have a king. You know, I feel like some of you are resting after closing something off with someone and you feel good about it. <laughs> That's what I feel like that is now. I feel like you've closed something off with someone and you're feeling really good about it energetically. Like it feels like something worth celebrating to you. Like you've got your energy back. You're kind of, the rest of rejuvenation feels almost like, oh, that feels so much better. Like energetically, I just feel cleared. So you've cleared something here with someone. It could have been another fire sign, to be honest, with the Queen of Wands. It could have been could have been another Sagittarius. It could have been an Aries or a Leo or someone who has a lot of fiery energy. Someone who, because it does feel like it, it's closed off. Now, I feel like you're showing up a bit like this King of Pentacles, like you have some choices. I feel like you have some choices here. And you're sitting very comfortably. The, both of these cards just feel like someone who's sitting really comfortably at home or just somewhere where you feel sort of like in your own element. And with the Three of Cups, wanting to... Wanting to connect again. Wanting to connect. And see, now over here, I've got the Queen of Swords with this Caring Connection and the Ace of Wands. So this feels like... An energy that I feel like you want to move towards or you want to build something with. But maybe there's some anxiety here because I know you can't see the table, but this card is looking away, is looking away from your energy. Although you're not really looking at anything really, except I feel like kind of what's internal here. But the Queen of Swords is looking away. So the Queen of Swords seems to me like she's she or he is associated um, with a, a connection that you feel has potential to be to be warm and loving and sweet and kind. All the things I would associate with the caring connection. And this person is inspired, and they've either they've come up with something that's recently inspiring and they're growing with it. They're creating something here. This person is creating something over here. You close something off with the Queen of Wands. I'm really curious about that. And it feels good. It's like, oh, thank God. Like it could have been, it could have been a friend or it could have been um, a romantic relationship. You know, this person could have also been really focused on their own thing as well. So I don't know what's going on with you. Like, it almost feels as if... You've closed something off with someone. And I think this someone is related to a cycle that you were in. And what is that cycle? I'm really curious about this because... Whatever you closed off doesn't... 
doesn't necessarily feel negative. I mean, it might have just been something that ran its course. And now you're feeling pretty good about it. What's this Queen of Wands here? The Five of Wands. There might have been some sort of... You know what this feels like? Because it's you, Sagittarius. This feels like um, someone who is a lot like you. You know how a lot of times we don't get along? We Not all the time. Well, maybe it's just me. But people that you're so much alike, you don't always get along with them really well. I find that. My mom is so much like me. But we we get along. We're getting better <laughs> as we get older. But we can honestly only like take each other for like not more than four or five days um, in the same house because we're just so much alike. It just becomes almost irritating. So I kind of feel like there's something with someone here that you've closed off that again, it didn't feel like it was necessarily a big negative thing. Like it almost like it ran its course. But I feel like maybe you're so much like this person or this person is so much like you that it just doesn't work. I've noticed that too with other fire signs. I find it harder to to um, maintain relationships with other fire signs because I'm an Aries um, compared to other signs because fire signs are so busy, <laughs> so busy and doing stuff and we're doing our own thing. It kind of feels like that. There's some sort of conflict here. It's been resolved and it's good. Well, maybe you haven't even, maybe it's just the conflict that's been resolved. The world, let's see. conflict is good oh ah, yes cindy that's it oh the conflict has been resolved you have the king of swords you might have had some some legal conflict going on with someone um i think for most of you that's not really what i'm getting but that's quite a possibility with the king of swords and closing something off there uh but i do feel like Something is really, really well understood at this point. You you may not have even closed off a cycle with someone, but you've you've definitely closed off some sort of period of conflict. And now it's time to celebrate, honey. Now it's time to celebrate. So four of wands. Oh, well, that's good. That's not oh look, the emperor and the ten of cups. It could be something you had going on with an Aries. Because you got it all over the reading now. It doesn't have to be. Um, this person may have just been very, um, very much kind of in their power. Again, this person is focused on their thing here. They're focused on this. Look what I'm making. Look what I'm creating. Look what, this is very Aries. Look what I made. You see it? Okay, yeah, it's so cool. It's all mine. Look at that. But now it's good. Like, you feel empowered. Oh, this is almost like releasing the breath. <sighs> now, if you've been watching something suspenseful, I do this all the time when they're underwater in a movie. I don't breathe. <laughs> I'm going to pass out. And they're holding their breath. And you start to get dizzy. It's like, oh, my God. Breathe. Breathe, Cindy. Breathe. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Okay. It almost feels like that. Like, just <sighs> releasing it. Releasing it. Some sort of tension. Some sort of tension has been released here. I don't know what you did. Caring connection. Actually, let me see what you see. Like, what are you doing here in this rest and rejuvenation? Oh, you're closing something off within you and you're rebirthing a two of cups energy. feel like y'all had an argument or a disagreement with someone and um it's been resolved somehow which is nice it feels like it's been resolved now i don't know if you have physically resolved it there are no pentacles here at all nothing there are no pentacles i'm really picking up like the emotion of this so i don't know how that works for you it's getting really dark now. Now this caring connection, the Queen of Swords, she is really focused on, she or he is really, really focused on um, something coming, like some sort of inspiration. 
coming from the third eye. And this inspiration is actually creating um, a very steady path forward. The Queen of Swords could even be the same person, or maybe not, that you've resolved something with. The Queen of Swords. Well, they're definitely the Queen of Swords. They got that twice. The Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Chariot. Wow, there's movement. There's movement. It feels like unexpected movement with the Knight of Swords and the Chariot. There's some sort of unexpected movement here. What is it related to? Perhaps some sort of inspiration? Oh! This flame in this person's mind's eye has become the flame that you see and understand. Whoa, it's almost like you receive something on um, like a psychic level. Some sort of inspiration from perhaps someone that you care about has created something that you see and understand and it's allowed you to close off a conflict. Maybe this was an inner conflict. It could have been something that inspired you. Like maybe you know someone you know and they went and did something. You thought, I feel really inspired about that. I'm gonna go out and ride my bike. Or I'm gonna go out for a jog or I'm gonna I'm gonna start meditating. But there's more to it than that because it feels like it's affected a connection that you have with someone. You have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. So that's pretty, this feels pretty big. The Ace of Wands. The Lovers, Temperance, and the Hanged Man. Well, I'm hearing in due time, you will see your choices accurately. In due time, you will see your way forward accurately. So I don't know if due time has actually occurred, though. Or you've been waiting. You've been waiting for something. Or they've been waiting. I feel like, though, I'm reading this Ace of Wands as some sort of inspiration or something that someone has created or done or expressed and it's found its way into your hand could even be something that like that you read or that you looked at so the knight of pentacles now where is this going the knight of pentacles It's building like a stronger connect. The Three of Pentacles and the Strength card. It's building a stronger connection. It's building something stronger here. What's this carrying connection? The Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Something has become like really clear where it was not clear. I mean, we're talking big time clarity. Going from the Two of Swords to the Ace of Swords is big time clarity. And this Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Chariot, really unexpected, fast clarity, understanding, thinking, open mind, knowing. This is like a big energetic um, shift, move for you. What do you have? You got the King of Pentacles. That's what it feels like you are there. This King of Pentacles. The Three of Cups, which is funny because that's the other underlying card with it. The Five of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, holding something in your hand. something maybe you receive some sort of like a token of friendship from someone I don't 
see that I don't it doesn't feel like an apology because there's no like page of cups here the page of cups I would associate with an apology this is reconciled energy that perhaps you know it could have been someone that you had a disagreement with or there was a a separation and it felt very long term in this like it wasn't moving and now you hold some sort of massive potential in your hand to experience with someone here. I see you with anxiety though, but I think that's why you've got the rest and rejuvenation. The anxiety card. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Moon. I feel like you want to celebrate. It feels like you want to celebrate with someone. You want to bring this together. You want to bring this feeling beyond yourself. But you're not sure like how it would be received. Because you have the Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands. So how do you communicate this? How do you communicate that you want to... Yeah, I don't know. I wonder too if it could be like something... Um, you know... If you had a disagreement with um, a cousin or something like that, and you haven't spoken to them in months or years, and then someone says something to you, or, uh, so, oh, you should go check out so-and-so's latest post on their Facebook or whatever. And like, oh, I don't, we don't communicate. You should go check it out. And it's actually a post, like, let's say this person posted pictures of you and them when you guys were kids and say, yeah, just reminiscing about Sagittarius. We had such good times together. You're like, well, wait a second. <laughs> oh, well, wait, wait a second. What's going on here? So it just feels like something like that has kind of happened for you on some level of some kind of relationship that is important, that you have importance in this. And it could be something more than like a cousin. It could, it could actually be romantic. For some of y'all, or oh, that one with anxiety. So what's at the bottom now? And so I kind of feel like it's almost you wanting to reach out after we see, oh, the King of Wands. Yeah, the king, oh, you have the King and Queen of Wands and you have the King and Queen of Swords here. That's lovely. Look at that. There you go. And it does feel like you wanting to kind of reach out after learning something, learning some sort of information or discovering something. So this is what we have for Sagittarius. That's nice. It's nice energy, Sag. I'm going to go do the extended for you. I'm going to ask for guidance for you and outcome should you follow the advice. Until next time, Sagittarius, to be gentle with yourselves. Bye.